You know, I'm a Sony fanboy, and I'll admit that. I've never really been a big fan of Microsoft because of personal issues I've had with all their consoles. But I tell you, Sony, this round, they've really gone down the toilet with the absolute mess that is the PlayStation 5. And I'm not even talking about, you know, the ease of access to getting the console. I'm talking about ridiculous things like absolutely no support for expansion. You can't properly delete icons off your UI when you delete games. I have a game that's locked to me because it was supposed to be a beta test. And now I have to buy the game so that I can delete it off my desktop. Then I find out this bullshit right here. That Sony rejected Sony Ben's pitch for a Days Gone 2 game. And as a result of that, two key members have left the studio back in December of 2020. So they're going to be working on a new game instead. It had moderate sales, but Sony wasn't too, too happy with it. For whatever reason. And to me, that's a huge, huge mistake. I mean, when the game first came out, sure, it was a little bit of a diamond in the rough. I knew that all the key elements were there. And they were. Every update that came out except for that one where it made my character disappear and my wife vanished in the middle of nowhere, but, you know, that's another story for another day. It all ends well. And that's the main take with this. And now with the PS5, this thing running at 60 FPS, it's nearly a paragon, which means a perfect diamond. This is now a paragon to me. I've been gaming for four decades. And along the likes of World of Warcraft, in which I have over 130,000 hours over the past 17 years, Days Gone is one of the most uploaded videos on my channel with near 75 videos on this game. To give you some contrast, Red Dead Redemption 2 got about 50 videos, okay? This masterpiece could have been what Sony needed to make their PS5 actually really, really good. But they really fucked up, didn't they? By rejecting Days Gone 2. I'm absolutely flabbergasted by the fact that they're not even letting them develop it. But they'll allow them to make a, another game, though. Really, really not happy with that. Anyhow, let's just quickly get into what was said here. As reported by sources close to Bloomberg, talks among developers at Sony-owned studios have become a bit dissatisfying after some recent alleged decisions made by Sony. Specifically, Sony Bend has been placed to work under Naughty Dog 2 projects, one being The Last of Us 2 multiplayer mode, the other an unannounced Uncharted project decision was apparently made after Sony rejected the studio's pitch for Days Gone sequel, despite the title having moderate success in sales, and because of this, some of the staff at Sony Bend have left the studio as a result, with two key members already confirmed as leaving you know, as far back as December of 2020. The studio has now been taken off at the request of the studio, and uh, the Uncharted Project are now working on a new game. It's definitely a bummer for those hoping for a Days Gone 2. That said, are you happy to hear this news? Or would you rather the studio follow up with a sequel? I mean, obviously, I want them to follow up with a sequel. I mean, it's, you know, one of the best games for me. I mean, again, that's why I said for me, because, you know, best game is subjective, right? But, uh, wow, like I'm blown away. Like I, I was so looking forward to a sequel, much as I was when Red Dead Redemption came out with their sequel, you know, Red Dead Redemption 2. Like, I mean, I have that much hype for this game. I did. Now that's down the toilet. 
Oh, man. In other news, apparently The Last of Us, you know, the first one, the one that got remastered, it's getting remastered again for the PS5, supposedly. But they's gone. Apparently, that's gone. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. It greatly helps support the channel with the algorithm and making me more relevant in the search results when people are looking shit up on the internet. If you didn't like the video, go ahead, give it a thumbs down, and I'll just break it off in your ass. And if you want to subscribe to the channel, naturally that would be fantastic now, wouldn't it? But if not, thanks for stopping by anyways. Take care, and maybe I'll see some of you in the next video. Bye for now.